Hello, let us have a look at some mistakes we should avoid when we make technical presentations. I have observed these mistakes being made even by experts and very senior professionals, probably because no one told them that what they are trying to do causes a distraction or because perhaps they felt that providing these features actually enhances or improves the presentation, but it is actually quite to the contrary. So, by a study of various features, I have come up with a list of five bad features which we should try to avoid. The first of these features is a tendency to make our presentation verbose, that means full of words and description. Please remember that human beings have a limited attention span and if you bombard them with lot of words on the slide, you will immediately lose their interest. Let me give you an example of a presentation made by a team of students which contained this particular slide and you can see it is virtually impossible for anyone to read the entire material in the limited time available to show this particular slide. The two pictures on the bottom actually attract all your attention and what remains is uh, when you look at this you say oh you switch off and you do not want to really do anything with this particular slide. Instead, one can give the same information in a more structured fashion. Another common mistake that people do is when they want to fit some figures or pictures onto a slide, they resize them to suit their convenience. For example, this is a picture which was there in a presentation, it is a distorted picture. Uh, one could also shrink it and put it in this fashion. However, this is exactly what the aircraft should look like. So, you can notice the one on the top and the one on your right is a heavily distorted version of the real picture and that can create a totally wrong impression in your minds about what this design looks like. So, the trick is to scale the picture up and down only from the corners, so that it can be resized without spoiling what is called as its aspect ratio. Many speakers add or change the color of a presentation assuming that that will catch the attention. On the contrary, unnecessary change of font or of color distracts the audience from understanding or appreciating what the speaker is trying to convey. Look at this example from a presentation made by some project engineers. You can notice that all kinds of changes are there in the size and the color and it is actually far from uh, pleasing to the eyes and actually distracting. One more mistake that many people make is to forget about the contrast and bring in images or bring in backgrounds with text that can actually be unreadable. Look for example, a quote from uh, John McMasters of Boeing, use of a pink color on a yellowish background, it is so difficult to read. Whereas, the same information when it is projected to you in pure black and white is far more pleasing to the eyes and you can always understand it much better. So, we should avoid such improper contrast in the presentation. Animation is very useful, animation helps us in structuring the presentation and focusing the attention of the audience at the desirable places, but sometimes animation can become excessive and then it becomes very distractive or jarring. Here is an example of animation which actually defeats the whole purpose. The worst example of animation that can be frustrating is this example where you know the words are falling and the audience is actually getting frustrated waiting for the sentence to be over. Even the speaker has nothing to say because the speaker also has to wait 
till the entire information is communicated. So, one does not know what this particular animation type serves. Now, look at this, this is also very distractive. In some cases, people rotate the figures and when they introduce figures also, sometimes they bring in these kind of animations. Actually, they do not serve much purpose and for a technical presentation, this can actually be distractive. So, avoid this from technical presentations. I hope you will keep these five points in mind when you make your presentations, so that you can avoid the common mistakes that people make in their presentations, which actually makes them less effective. Thank you.